Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to get every single secret and legacy character in tabs. So let's just start. Alright, really quickly before I start, I want to say that to move around, I'm going to press F and move around like this. Uh, and I'm going to have the name of each map somewhere on the screen. Uh, for this one, it's Ancient One. But so what we're doing is coming over to this tower and right here there should be a bow. You're just going to have to stare at it for five seconds and you'll get Artemis. Alright, next we're traveling to this little building right here with this symbol and these like Greek letters or something. And there should be a sword right here. Stare at this and unlock the teacher. Alright, now turn and go down and right at this little... Uh, building there should be a little fan stare at this and you get the fan bearer now same place uh, go down here to this building and there should be a crossbow right in between you stare at this and you get it Chukonu alright third time same map come over here onto this big building we just went over here and there's a little cupid bow and you get cupid all right this map has five different characters so yeah uh so under this bridge right here there will be a buried leg and you should unlock the taekwondo guy all right now let's go down this hole in the middle of the map look up and on one of these four sides there should be a sword stuck in the rock and you'll get the samurai giant if you look at it now if you just go straight and into the middle right here this little part of this building there is a sword and you look at it and you get you get lady red jade all right so on the top of this building there will be two shuriken stars you look at that and you get the sensei so right behind this building and down here uh, uh, on this tree there will be a katana in it and you will find the shogun all right so now we're gonna do two things we're gonna unlock a map and a character so go down here and in this little hole to the left we go down this tiny little hole and we unlock a new map and then all you have to do is go all the way back here behind the statue look at this and unlock the infernal whip all right now we're gonna unlock another new map and character so come down here again and we're staring at this for a while Then it opens and like look around here. Oh wow. And like, okay, look at this. And go inside of this when it is ready for you. And then we're here and all you have to do is look to the right and come over here and look at this like a little halo thing. and unlock the solar architect. All right, so now just come over here into this little bush place and there should be a dragon and you'll get the wheelbarrow dragon. All right, we're gonna unlock another map and two characters from this one. So go to the farmer one and go down a tiny bit and there should be a snow globe right here. Look at that. Farmer snow and go there. Then when we're here, go to this house over here and there should be a present. Look at that. And get the present elf. All right, so from the top here, just go down and you will see this icicle and just look at it. And you get the ice mage. All right, so now we're gonna come over here and look behind and inside of this barrel, there's gonna be a jester in a box. Look at that, you get the jester. Okay, so down here on this little tree stump, there's gonna be an ax and then you'll unlock the executioner. All right, so now you'll come over here to the left and there's gonna be a tree right here. 
You stare at it, you have to stare at it at a good angle, and then you unlock the tree giant. Alright, so in this little tower down here to the right, there's going to be two, oh, two maces, and you just stare at those, and you'll get the mace spinner. Alright, so on the very top of the tower, on actually the, this, uh, thing, <laughs> there's gonna be a spear. Look at the spear. And you'll get the cavalry. Alright, so if you just go down a little bit and over to here in this wood pile, there should be a guy with a stake in the heart. And look at him, and you'll unlock Vlad. Alright, so if you look behind you, you will see this little table. And look at this bomb on a stick. And you'll get. Bomb on a stick. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the left side and under the water actually and in this little place There's gonna be a clam with a guy in it and look at him And you got clams Alright, so now we're gonna go to the right side of the map at the very back and right in this little place There's a huge cannon look at that and you get The bomb cannon Alright, so now if we go to the other side of where we just were, into this little waterfall, you will see an anchor or two. Look at those. And you get Blackbeard. Alright, so now if you look up and, oh, look over there. You have to go up here and look at this guy floating with a balloon. Look at him. and you get the ballooner. Alright, so now if you come down here into this pumpkin patch thing right behind it, you see this and you get the banshee. Alright, so now if we go to the left side again and into this graveyard, you'll see this and you'll unlock the skeleton giant. Good for you. So this one's incredibly easy. If you look up a tiny bit, then you'll see this broom and something on it. And you'll unlock... The Witch. Alright, this one's also really easy. Just turn to your right and look in here. And there's a floating lantern. This is a cool animation, I think. You unlock the Necromancer. Alright, so now go to the very back of this map, and on a tree stump there's going to be a pom-pom, and you'll unlock the cheerleader. Alright, so if we turn around right here, we will see down here a little campfire, and if you look at this little skull for a little while, you unlock the raptor. Alright, now if you see to the left, there's this little boulder thing, and if you go inside of it, in between these two trees, there's another raptor skull with a skull on it, and you'll unlock the raptor rider. Alright, so if you go all the way back here to the very back, you will see in this little crevice a helmet. Look at that, and you get the shouter. Alright, so if you go down and look backwards, next to this, like, rock thing, whatever it is, right behind it, right here there should be a giant head, an ice giant head, and you'll get the ice giant. Alright, if you look to the left inside of this b sunken building in the ice thing, there should be a helmet or, like, a hat or something in there. You look at that and you'll get Yulra, or I don't know how to say it, but you'll get it. Alright, so if you go behind the sheriff building and inside of this little uh, thing there's a ball and chain and look at it and you get the ball and chain so I think this one's one of the most interesting we're actually gonna have to go out of this uh, free mode and place anything that that could break into this building so a mammoth can uh, you have to possess it by pressing F and then you're gonna have to slam into the building yeah, it'll, it might take a few tries, but then unpossess and this bank uh, safe, look at it and you'll get bank robbers. Alright, so for the final secret character, we have to go behind this yellow building in this green building and in this little area, there's a Gatling gun and just look at it and you will get 
the Gatling Gunner. And I got the achievement for getting all the people. But now to the next part. Alright, so overall there's 16 legacy characters and uh, one of them's already unlocked, the peasant. So there's 15 overall and they're all in this map, the legacy map. Um, so the first one is going to be in here. It's a super peasant. If you look right here for a while you'll see it. And then if you go out this window and then back into this building. In here there's going to be a pharaoh, a mummy, and then you'll unlock the uh, pharaoh. And then, if you look right out here, uh, right here, at this uh, really long pike or whatever, oh, yes, if you look at this, you will unlock the pike, yeah, okay, and then if you look right over here, there's a little glove on a, a graveyard, a, a, a gravestone, and you'll unlock the dark peasant. And if you go over here a tiny bit more, look right here, the boxing mitts, you get the super boxer. And then if you go into this little grave right here, there's a little blow dart. Look at that. And you got the blow darters. And then there's one more around the church that says in loving memory of poacher look at that and you got the poacher so yeah that's all the ones around the church all right so from up here again we are going to uh go all the way over here to, to the left side and on this little stump there's a hat And you get the wizard and then if you go up from here and turn a tiny bit to the right in this little pack of trees uh, go inside of this hole and there is a huge tank and just look at that and you get the tank and then go out of this hole go up in the air and you should see a bunch of thunder and stuff right here and there look at this hammer thor's hammer presumably and you get thor so now there are five more characters there's two in the blue camp and three in the red camp uh the first one is this flag right here with the sword look at that and you will get the flag bearer and then if you look to the right a tiny bit, there's this barrel. Look at that. And then you'll get the barrel roller. And then go on to the right side. And right here next to this tent, there is a chariot thing. Which, um, yeah. And then you got the chariot. And then right close to here, there's another flag. Look at this. Good job, you got the banner bearer. And then just a tiny bit over here in this middle part, there are boxing gloves again for the regular boxer. And now you get the legacy or the secret campaign too. Okay guys, I really hope this helped you uh, either like finish your list of characters or like get, getting all of them. But yeah, I, I had fun doing this. So tell me if you do want me to want to see me try to I don't know anything else you want to see me do uh, but yeah this was fun so have a nice day bye